Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode six of Lake. Now, this is a very special episode for me, and I hope it'll be an enjoyable one for you. The reason is my wife is joining us on this one, and she may join us in future episodes of Lake and or other video games on the channel as well, but that remains to be seen over time. <laughs> I'd like to take a real quick moment just to publicly put it out there how proud I am of her. She has no YouTube content creation experience. She has very little gaming experience. She plays, you know, simple little games usually. And um, as far as I know, little or no public speaking experience. You put all that together and do something like this, it could be a very daunting task. So she had a two minute crash course to familiarize herself with the controls and we booted up the game and started recording. So she was trying to use the controller uh, figure out the dynamics of the game, and on top of that, provide funny and engaging commentary, which that comes naturally for her. Um, she's a really good sport. I'm very proud of her, and I hope you will be as well. But there's only one way to find out if you're going to enjoy this video or not. I have to stop flapping my app, <laughs> and we got to get started. So let's do that right now. I hope you enjoy. All right, so just so everybody knows, I've never used this controller before. I'm not a big video game girl as far as playing, so let's see how this goes. All right, so I guess first thing we need to do is to get into our truck. I think we should go into the post office and talk to Frank. Doesn't look like he wants to talk to us. Well, I'm sure he doesn't. Hope you're enjoying the job as much as your dad did. Frank was a disappointment. Walk away a little bit and come back and see if he'll... No, nope, he don't want to say nothing. Boy, is he rude. All right, guess we don't want to deal with him anymore. All right, get to work, woman. Oh, jeez, they're going to park in front of the fire hydrant. That's no good. All right, hold on. All right, let's get out and go deliver this package. I'm going to bring Nancy, her camera, back. Let's see if she's had a bit of an attitude change since we saw her last. This is going to get us the Shutterbug achievement. Good morning, Miss Nancy. Oh, hello. How's the photography coming along? My photography quest has been completed. Here's your equipment back. Okay, then. Let me see if I can manage to develop them. Come back tomorrow for the results. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thanks, Nancy. All right, let's get out of here. And we'll go back to the truck and get started on our other deliveries. Let's look both ways. We don't want to get run over. All right, so let's take a look at our little map here. And we are going to go see Lori at the gas station next. When I was practicing, I crashed into that car service sign. I also crashed into this little guardrail here. She also did attempt to run over pedestrians, and they don't allow you, so... Yeah, the truck slows down. All right, let's get out and talk to her. Hey, Lori. Did you watch the love bug? Hey, Miss W. Yeah, I did. Here it is. It wasn't the best. That's too bad. I'd hoped you'd like it. Yeah, oh well. Better luck next time. For sure. There's always plenty more movies in Angie's video rental shop. Have a nice day, Lori. Exactly. You too, Miss W. I think Lori is a little too old to be enjoying her be the love bug for the first time. But that's just me. Put it on autopilot for a minute there. That was not intentional. <laughs> okay, so um, I pushed the wrong button and it went to... <laughs> autopilot on the truck which isn't what I wanted so we came back into the map to go ahead and put a waypoint on the map for going to see Robert I'm not very good at navigating the map yet so we did that we put the waypoint down so now we are on our way all right here we go we had to put the camera on automatic follow because I'm not very good with doing that so I promise I will try not to swear my way through this I usually don't swear like a truck driver, but when I'm doing stuff like this, I do, so. 
Alright. Ooh, uh oh. Gotta do covered bridge. Let's see if I can manage this without crashing into it. Oops. I promise you, I don't drive like this in real life. I'd be barreling through this bridge. Oh, drove right through the tree. That's nice. I almost ran over a bird. Okay. Let's see what he's got to say today. Let's see if he's a little nice. Oh, I'm still holding on to the video box. Okay. It went in, so we're good. We'll drop the other box off to... Oh, that was special. All right, so we're going to go bring him his letter. We'll go see Mr. Mackey later about the other one. Hi, Robert. Here's the mail. Thanks, Meredith. And, um, uh, sorry for leaving all of a sudden yesterday. Thank you for apologizing. No problem. Leaking roofs don't fix themselves. Well, it was just... I needed some space. I think I've gotten a bit too used to being on my own. Ooh, somebody's got some social anxiety. Was I such bad company? No, no, not at all. I... I really enjoyed it. I just don't want you to feel weird about it. I was the weirdo. Oh, the old classic. It's not you, it's me. Right. Okay. I just wanted you to know that. Anyways, let's see what's in the mail. This can be bad news, too. The dentist appointment. Wait, why am I sharing that with you? <laughs> Maybe we should do the shrink appointment, but I think that's rather rude. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's just avoid it. So, no news regarding those apartments? Nothing. Hallelujah. This gives me a bit more peace of mind to work on my wild card plan. Okay. Good luck with that. Thanks. All right, everybody, we're going to go to Mr. Mackey's. We'll drop off this letter first. All right, here we go. Let's head down the driveway and see where we go. My hands want to use the controller on the right. Let's see if I can get through the bridge without crashing into it. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Made it through that part. Oh, I see the road. There we go. So we're going to mark where our letter is going to go first. That was a close call. <laughs> I just looked both ways and the cop comes out of nowhere. That's no good. As you've heard, I've commented as my husband goes through the tunnel and said he should beep, but I'm not taking my eyes off the road or the controller to do that, so beep beep. Ooh, is this even a road? What oh, is? Look at me. Oh boy. Hello. Let's get out. Oh, there it is. Maybe I was driving a little too fast going by. I didn't notice the mailbox buried behind the tree. Oh, there's creaking. Like random creaking I can hear. Hustle, Meredith. Hustle. She's taking her sweet time. All right, let's see if we can get back out of this place without hitting any trees. <laughs> well, this is going in the blooper reel for sure. Everything in my being tells me that I want to use the right stick, oh, the right stick to drive, not the left. I have to drive through this baby tree. Bye, baby tree. There we go. Oop. This camera angle is horrible. Hopefully nobody in this truck has a bad neck or back. If you do, Meredith, I am sincerely sorry. What's that over there? Is that a hotel? Ooh. Oh, that's right. We've been there before. No tell motel. I wonder if they do hourly rates there. <laughs> Who'd ever suspect? Oh, guess I should get my own lane, huh? Yeah, it's the thing I wanted to mention the other day. What was with that metal guy? The metal detector guy in the middle of this man's field? He was trespassing. That's not okay. And of course she didn't say anything to the guy with the, at the house either. So as it turns out, this... Oh my god! This morning we found out that as far as the metal detector guy goes, we found out through Quick Kiwi and Jerry and John Mayberry that uh, that whole scene was based on a real British 
show about metal detectors. I can't talk and concentrate on my driving at the same time, so we're gonna stop now. Oh, hello. We're gonna see what Mackie thinks of this. I don't think he's gonna be too receptive, honestly, but we'll see. I don't have time to watch movies. There are more important things to do with my time. He's on the boat. I wonder if we can talk to him. All right, so we're thinking we gotta go back to Angie's first. Return the movie, get a new one, and then that'll take us where we need to go. So let's go ahead and do that. Oops. Oh, by the way, people, we hadn't seen this before. <laughs> it's the daily calendar, uh, and it actually tells you what to uh, what to do for the day. So that was a nice little uh, a little surprise. It crosses off uh, your things as you do them. These are the special achievement missions, evidently. All right, let's get out. Oops, let's get out of that. Oh, we're not there yet. Okay. <laughs> He's pointing that we need to go further down. Oh, that's the store. Okay. I promise you, I'm really not this stupid. Oh, there we go. Flick shot. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Ah, I don't want to park there. I'll park over here. I'll get too close to the... Oh, hello. <laughs> Again, people, this is why I don't play. I'm embarrassed right now. This is just sad. He thinks it's funny. I think it's sad. I hope we get lots of views and appreciate. Oops, views and appreciation on this, because I really am putting myself out there. All right, here we go. It's probably a lot easier if you're not trying to talk at the same time. All right, let's go see what she says about the boxes and our little mini date the other night. Let's see if she's as uh, forward as she was before, babe. How rude. Hi, Angie. Oh, hey. So, hey, I dropped off and picked up those movies. Right, right. Oh, yeah, she seems a little standoffish today. Is everything okay? You don't seem your usual peppy self. You don't know me, Meredith, okay? This can be a stressful job. <laughs> oh, easy there. I just did you a favor, remember? Yeah, actually, now's not a great time. There's two more movies on the counter. If you could deliver those, that'd be peachy. Hmm. Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. <laughs> Best not to mix these two up. Mm-hmm. Great. Thanks. Appreciate it. Bye. I was gonna call her a nasty name. She's rude. Should have just blown it off and not done it for her. So that wasn't a very pleasant interaction. I wonder if she's a little off-put because she didn't get a good night kiss when she tried making the moves and Meredith wasn't super receptive. All right, we're gonna go to Mackie's now and drop this off. Just so you know, people, I'm not being chaperoned right now, so. So we're gonna head down to Mackie's. Let's see how I can do by myself without not being guided from the side. There was one time where he left me unchaperoned when he was playing GTA and he told me to take his girlfriend bowling. That's all I had to do was take her bowling and he left and I ended up taking her down to the bowling alley. I attempted to Getting her out of the car, I shot the window out, and she got upset because I shot at her. Oh, that's why I wouldn't go anywhere. It was a bollard there. Anyway. Oop, shoot. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> she got out of the car. She got mad at me because I shot the window out. She left, so I was stuck biding time by myself. So I went and decided to go for a drive. And I drove around for a while, hit a few things, ended up in a police chase, and uh, drove off a bridge. Next thing you knew, I was in the emergency room, couldn't get out, and by the time he got back from doing what he was doing, I was crouched in the corner of the emergency room and couldn't move. So he comes back and said, what on earth did you do? Well, that's what I did. Like I said, sometimes it doesn't behoove me to, behoove him to leave me alone with his stuff because strange things happen. But like I said, we got out of this one. He'll discover in editing what I did. It'll make him laugh. All right, let's see what, oop. Let's see what we can do here. And like I said, I truly hope that you guys enjoy this. As like I said, I'm mortified, but I'm willing to make the sacrifice for the cause. I am absolutely thrilled that he's making videos again. And if this helps, I'll do whatever I can do. Because I love the man. All right, here we are. We're at Mackie's. Let's go ahead and take the video out of the back. There we go. We'll deliver that other package later. 
All right, here we go. Let's go see if he's on the boat and if he talks to us this time. He is. All right. The sun's starting to go down, it looks like. It's more pretty afternoon. Mr. Mackey, I've got this movie box for you. Leave it on the porch of the cabin, could you? I need to know if you prefer a war movie or a shark movie. Huh? Movies? <laughs> uh, just pick something. I'm sure it'll be fine. Hmm. What do we think, guys? Do we think he's going to enjoy Jaws or the Dirty Dozen? Something tells me he'd probably like the Dirty Dozen better. So let's go ahead and pick that. Fine. Enjoy the Dirty Dozen, Bert. Have a nice day. Well, that was a pleasant interaction. All right, so let's get a quick peek at the sunset, and then we're going to go deliver something to the campground. I say I hope we make it home before dark. <laughs> I'm a little slow. Oh my goodness, how pretty is that? Wonder what kind of trouble Meredith used to get into down on the docks at sunset. Oh well, that's a story for another day. Come on, honey. Let's hustle. She takes her sweet time when she wants to. I'm pushing the button go as fast as I can, but she doesn't go any faster. She's actually pushing the button so hard that they're making a plastic <laughs> breaking noise. I am not. Quiet. All right, here we go. All right. I'm very tempted to stop in for blueberry pie, but since I can't have it for real, I'm not going to bother. You know, it would be really cool is if we could use the steering wheel for this. Oh, hello, farm. Wait, what? Oh, hold on. All right, it's coming up. He's pointing at the screen. I'm gonna hit the rock. <laughs> All right, so there's this teeny tiny little driveway here. All right, let's see if I can do this without crashing into the rock, which I highly doubt I'm going to be able to do. There we, oh, I did it, look at that. He's making snide remarks over here. I don't know if you can hear him or not. He's a little far from the microphone. All right, let's see. Well, there's there's people over there, so I wonder if we deliver to them. There's no mailbox. Oh, hello. He's a, like He said I have to hand them the letter like traditional methods. He said he's far from the microphone, so I don't know if you can hear him or not, but peanut gallery over here. Evidently, he doesn't want to sit that close to me. All right, let's try. Hello there. Hey, how are you? I may have mail for you. Is it addressed to Mickey or June? Or both? Uh, to both. Here you go. Look at that mustache. That's bad. Oh, sweet brother Damien, savior in the hour of darkness. <laughs> Never mind him. He's a bit stressed out. We were a bit low on paper. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you, too. Woo! Uh, what kind of paper? <laughs> what kind of paper? Probably a bit of cash and some rolling paper. Oh, I thought it was going to be toilet paper. <gasps> ah, that kind of paper. <laughs> I'd better get going. It was nice to meet you. Okay. Bye, sweet Meredith. Oh, isn't that nice? We see how they got the little laundry on the line back here. Got her little polka dot undies. Socks. Oh, I'll put those bad boys away. All right. Let's sit on a log, see if that gets us anything. Being that I'm a 54-year-old man, I don't think it's appropriate <laughs> I looked at her underwear. <laughs> I just thought it's funny. It's out there, you know. Well, it's not letting me sit on the log anymore. Oh, well. Let's go home. Okay. Oh, now it does. We can sit on that log. Okay. Let's sit here for a moment. Oh, ponder the view. All right. It's kind of like in a movie vacation, National Lampoon's vacation, when they go to the Grand Canyon and they're all standing there for 30 seconds and they bob their heads up and down and say, yep. yep. Okay, let's go. Kind of like that. <laughs> all right. Let's go. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, so he says that it looks like the camper from Breaking Bad. Oh, Endless Adventure. Oh, yeah, there's these YouTubers that we watch called The Endless Adventure, and their camper is like a vintage 1970s. It's a little uh, little rough around the edges, but they're making it, uh, they're making it their own. 
No, it looks like the truck sped up a little bit. Oh, jeez. Hey, Em, it's me, Kay. <laughs> wow, I just, like, instantly dialed your parents' number. Superpowers! <laughs> Probably just muscle memory or something like that, right? Or maybe it's like that thing where you smell something and it instantly triggers this mega old memory you didn't even know you had. Know what I mean? Oh man, I had that once when Barry bought me lilacs and the smell instantly mentally teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree. And I ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face. You remember that, right? What if it's like that with old phone numbers? You go, must dial M, and then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial? Man, anyway, I uh, didn't call about that, obviously. I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday, clear my head, and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along. Not that I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangouts and the lake sites and all. If you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. Well, isn't that nice? She's reaching out. All right, I think we're going to go hang out with her. Hey, Em! Em! Up here! Hiya! Should I just come up? Come on up! You just have to watch your step on the third leg. Should be good. I completely got what you just said, and I'm coming up. It's that third step, right? I'm surprised no one's fixed it in all these years. <laughs> so glad you made it! Isn't it nice up here? It sure is. Oh, that view. Gets me every time. <laughs> Sounds like you're starting to remember what's great about P.O. Those times we took some pie up from the diner after school and sat here talking about whatever we felt like. Oh, yeah. How about that afternoon I snuck in some beers from Uncle Stan and they were really disgusting and you puked all over the rail? In fact, wasn't it kind of where you're standing right now? Oh my gosh, it totally was. Ew, oh, did you have to bring that up again? I was not counting on getting that much in touch with my younger self. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. I kind of missed having you around. I feel the same way. So, what's life been like for you since you left? Positives? Negatives? You know, I went to university, got a job. I basically worked my butt off the entire time. That's both positive and negative, I guess. Oof. That doesn't sound like a sustainable life plan there. You okay? Yeah, it just... It gets a bit busy sometimes. Hmm. I can imagine Providence Oaks is less... complicated. Well... Maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. Ooh, that sounds juicy. Is this about something or someone? That's for me to know and me to find out. Oh, there she goes with the crazy eyes. M still stands for mind your own beeswax, I see. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm backing off. What about you? How have you been? I mean, really? Really, really? It's been great and it's been tough, you know. I guess it's like that for everyone. I mean, I wanted to go to art school, yes, but turns out I wasn't good enough, or at least that's what they told me when I applied. So I decided to stay and do my own thing, make music, perform and stuff, you know. I picked up some shifts at the diner, Barry and I reconnected, we got married, and then Max came along. You haven't met him yet, have you? He turns 13 in a few months. Time flies. Anyway, having Max gave things a different rhythm, but I still continued with my music. Even managed to get a bit of a buzz going in Portland. Lined up a few interesting gigs. Tough to balance, but fun. And then? Yeah, just like that, Uncle Stan got sick. Hit him and Aunt Mo like a ton of bricks. It was crushing. There I was, just about to get somewhere with my music. But I just couldn't let them down, so I stayed. Helped out nursing Uncle Stan, picked up his shifts at the diner. Sounds like you really stepped up. Well, in hindsight, it was a lot. In the moment, though, you don't stop to think. You just do it. Where was Barry in all this? Barry was... 
actually really great. We divided tasks back at the house and he took care of Uncle Stan when he could. No questions asked. He was just there. And what now? Well, Mo has offered a couple of times to put my name above the door at the diner. Up until now, it felt like too much. Too soon. Too definitive. But I don't know. Maybe if she asks again, I'll think about it. The way things ended up, it may not have been part of my master plan. But I got to spend some of the most precious moments of my life with the most precious people I know. Got to say goodbye to Uncle Stan and be there for Mo. He basically raised me. I'm grateful I got to do that for them. And I built a family of my own, right here in good old P.O. And one day, those kids will hurl all over this rail, just like we did. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, it's been tough, but looking back, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. I'm so sorry I wasn't there. I don't want you to feel sorry. We all have our own lives to live, right? I mean, I guess you could have done more to keep in touch. You were really kind of a turd in that respect, I have to tell you. But that's life, right? It's in the past. I'm just glad you're here. Right now, looking at the lake with me. It's good to know it's never too late to make new memories. Amen to that. I'm glad at least one of us grew up to be a well-rounded individual. Is there a manual I can borrow? Well, after you left, I had to raise myself, didn't I? <sighs> so, ready to descend to the world below? Nah, I think I'll stick around. Enjoy the view some more. <laughs> the view from the top of the ivory tower. Be careful not to get too used to it, young lady. Hmm, okay. Thanks for the invite. I'm glad I came by. Just try to cut down the word count on the answering machine next time, would you? Oh, you better buy yourself some new tapes for your machine, Weiss. Just kidding. <laughs> you know how I get when I get nervous. Thanks for joining, Em. This was good. Okay, everybody, that's a wrap. Thanks for coming along for the ride. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comment section. I would also really appreciate it if you'd like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. During the closing screen, you'll see a thumbnail icon for the outtakes from this video. Watch it if you want a good laugh. Take care and see you again. Maybe. Bye for now.